morning, class. I am Mom Germaine, and I will be your teacher for today. To ensure a smooth discussion, kindly keep your mic on mute unless recognized by the facilitator. Open your camera for the entire duration of the session and greet everyone in the meet. Before we start today's lesson, let us first ask for the guidance of the Lord. Miss Laurie, kindly lead the prayer, please. Thank you, Miss Laurie. It's a brand new day, you guys, and today I bring to you a brand new topic as well, irregular verbs. For today's objectives, we have, at the end of this discussion, you are expected to identify irregular verbs in sentences, define irregular verbs, and write a paragraph describing your experiences with Beagle culture using correct irregular verbs. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Socrates once said that the unexamined life is not worth living. So let's begin this discussion with a question, shall we? When we talk about Beagle culture, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay, those are wonderful answers. Some of you said it's the people. Famous people include, the, include Lenny Robredo, Jesse Robredo, Raul Rocco. Others said it's the food, the Bicol Express, more specifically. While the others say it's the places, Mayan Volcano. Those are wonderful answers, you guys. So, but today, let me introduce to you one of Bicol's pride and joy, uh, Pantomina, the folk dance. So this folk dance originated from the towns of Bicol's Estandarte and Sorsogon subregions. Pantomina is Spanish for pantomime. It is called as such because of its courting or wooing movements. It is traditionally performed during a wedding feast where the newlyweds perform the dance first while their relatives or guests throw coins or money at them. So without further ado, let's watch the video. Okay, now that you've watched the video, what do you think of the dance? Is it, is it graceful? Is it wonderful? Is it an accurate representation of our culture? Of course, lovely answers. Now, let's take a look at this paragraph I have pre prepared for you that describes or narrates the introductory steps of the pantomina. Allow me to read it to you. The boy and the girl met at the center. He held the girl with his right hand in position. Both moved forward to position themselves on the dance floor. They faced each other, released hold, and individually made a three-step turn and executed a curtsy to each other. They swung their arms gracefully. I'll give you a minute to digest the words, to comprehend the paragraph. Okay, let's examine it. Can anyone identify and enumerate or tell me the verbs that can be found in this paragraph? Let's make it a race, shall we? On the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, thank you for your quick responses. So you have identified the following verbs. We have met, held, moved, faced, released, made, executed, and swung. Let's dissect these, ver these verbs, shall we? So, looking at these verbs, what tenses are they in? Is it the present tense, the future tense, the past tense? Yes, precisely. The answer is past tense, more, spe more specifically, simple past tense. If they are all in the simple past tense, how come they are different? How come they vary? What have you observed with these verbs, despite being in the simple past tense, despite all of them being the simple past tense? 
Precisely. Verbs like moved, faced, executed, released, and with D or ED. Whereas, verbs such as met, held, and made, and swung do not end or do not necessarily follow the D or ED ending. How is that so? Or why is that so? How is faced different from met? What is faced, what is the verb faced called? It is a regular verb, exactly. Whereas met and held, they are irregular verbs, okay. Now that we know what they are, how are they different from one another? Okay, irregular verbs do not follow a specific pattern when it comes to changing tenses, exactly. They can either change spellings or not, depending on the tense or the form they find themselves in. Whereas, compared to the regular verbs, the regular verbs always end with D or ED when they are in the past tense. So let's complete the thought, shall we? Regular verbs do not end in D or ED and they may not change, they may or they may not change their spellings when turning into the past tense of the verb. Okay. Finally, they do not follow a specific pattern like regular verbs do when changing tenses. Excellent answers, you guys. The irregular past tense, it is common for a vowel in the middle of the verb to change instead of the verb's ending. For example, we have the word drive, which changes into drove in the past tense. Other verbs, on the other hand, require you to change a vowel and add a new ending. For example, we have eat and ate. Whereas there are also irregular past tense endings, which end in T, for example, sweep to swept, or sometimes D, sell to sold, or GHT, catch to caught. Now that we're done with irregular verbs, let us now proceed to your assessment. For me to know that you really understood the lesson, using correct irregular verbs, you are to write a paragraph regarding your experiences with Beagle culture. It can be about a summer you spent here in Beagle, or a time during the Penny French Festival where you encountered something amazing or something life-changing. Or you may begin with these following sentences if you're in a slot. On a particularly hot summer morning, I ride, supply the correct regular verb in the past tense, my bicycle going to the beach, my adventure blank when black, I blank with all my might towards the black. I blank, I was too late, but my friend blank a spot for me. So you may fill in the gaps and the blanks and write your own paragraph using this side. So for your assignment, kindly answer the quizzes on irregular verbs. The link will be posted on your Google Classroom. And then for further reading, read about adverbs and answer the following questions. What are adverbs? What are the different kinds of adverbs? And give example sentences of each type of adverb. Thank you for your active participation today. I look forward to more interactive discussions like this in the future.